Hi everyone. Uh, today we have another new video on EGDIS for you. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about uh, the database that is available for choosing your electronic charts for ships navigation. So the different databases you have available and how you can choose the correct one and why you should choose it. This is a very important topic guys if you are using uh, EGDIS systems on your ships for the primary means of navigation. So in today's video, please make sure that you watch till the end because uh, towards the end, I will show you how to go into the EGDIS and select the correct database and uh, what happens when you select the database compared to the other databases. So uh, there are mainly two types of databases. One database is uh, going to be the S57 edition. Uh, what is the S57? The S57 actually provides you with transfer standards for digital hydrographic data. These are um, IHO standards. IHO stands for International Hydrographic Office standards. And one of these standards or one of the requirements of the S57 is that all charts must be referred to a common datum that is the WGS84 datum. So I'm sure you know what WGS84 is, uh, World Geodetic System uh, introduced by the Americans and uh, that is the system used by GPS for accurate positioning. So that is why uh, all charts, uh, even paper charts, reliable paper charts comply to these uh, datums and these systems, right? So on the other hand, you may have some professional or other private databases. I'll show you an example of the one that we have in our system here. Uh, here it is called the CP professional on board your ship. You may have about six to seven databases, uh, but you should ideally choose uh, the database that corresponds to the S57 standards because those are the validated or the rather the official sources on the electronic navigation charts. So if data is not derived from these official sources, uh, then EGDIS will normally display a warning and then navigation in those areas would have to be on paper charts. So EGDIS then becomes only a tool for situational awareness. You can't use it for route monitoring, right? So make sure that you know which databases you have on your systems and then choose the correct database. Uh, now I will go into the EGDIS system and I will show you how I choose choose rather choose the correct database on other system that is available here it's the transfer system and why we do so so to choose the correct database go into chart then go into chart types and you can see here both the types are displayed here so you have the cp professional plus which is the private database and here we are using this private database because the licensing fee is much cheaper here and they give us a lot many charts for practice for a lower license fee but this is an educational institute but on your ship you have to go as per the s57 which was the other database that you saw was there and uh, because those database or that database uh, will comply with the iho standards with reference to digital transfer of data so that is why you must go with the correct database of in use uh, not the private database, but the uh, the S57 database, which gives you the correct charts, which refer to the WGS84 datum for positional accuracy. 